Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start lesson 11. Analysis of Chichibok's Pro's Supports Editing Function, Episode 2. In the last episode, we talked about where to set up the support parameters configuration. Today we'll talk about how to set up the support parameters in Chichibok's Pro. Number 1, Support Parameters Modification. In the Chichibok's Pro, there is a rich variety of support parameters to meet our different support needs for the model. If needed, we can adjust the parameters we need through the support settings panel at will, and we can also monitor the support's change in real time through the visualization window when editing the parameters. We can directly input the corresponding values to adjust them, or click the increase or decrease buttons on the right to adjust the parameter values. Number 2, Support Parameters Description. The model lift height refers to the height distance between the lowest area of the model and the printing platform. Shichubox Pro system default setting is 5 mm. For some 3D models that are not suitable for sole laying, setting a certain lift height can facilitate adding supports for the bottom of the model. When we set the model lift height, we need to take into account the overall size and shape of the model. If the lift height is improper, it will not only increase the printing time, but also cause the model printing failure due to the insufficient support force. On the support settings panel, we can set the value of each specific support parameter. When you unfold the support settings panel, it will show the top, middle, bottom, and raft parameter settings of the supports. Top refers to the top part of the support that connected to model. What are those parameters? Contact shape, it refers to the shape of the contact part between the top of the support and the model. There are two options, sphere and none. Contact diameter, refers to the diameter of the spherical contacting part. Contact depth, the depth of the contacting part between the support and the model. Connection shape, refers to the shape of the upper stem of the support. There are three options, cone, pyramid, and skate. Upper diameter, the upper diameter of the stem part. Lower diameter, the lower diameter of the stem part. Connection length, the length of the stem part, the larger the value, the longer the stem. Note on those parameter settings. Since the top of the support is directly connected to the model surface, make sure that the value of contact depth and upper diameter is properly set. Also, please note that the contact diameter is only valid when the contact shape is selected as sphere. When we try to add supports at the details of the model or miniature, if the upper diameter is selected as none, please make sure that the value is properly set. The larger the value of the upper diameter, the support will easily cover the details of the model, which will affect the surface quality of the model and may increase the difficulty of post-processing. On the contrary, if the diameter is too small, the supports may not working during printing. If the contact shape is selected as sphere, the diameter of the sphere can be the same as the upper diameter in a certain circumstance. Also, it can be adjusted based on real situations. For models that require surface quality and with fine details, Make sure that the value of contact depth is properly set as well. To avoid the situation of difficulty in removing the support after printing, or destroying the quality of the model surface or details. Moreover, if you want to make the length of the stem part longer, we can do so by modifying the value of the connection length. However, if the support is already added, we can click the connecting part of the support and drag the mouse to adjust to the corresponding length in the editing state. We have mainly introduced the top support parameters today. In the following tutorials, we will continue to introduce the rest of the support parameters and support editing operations in detail. Stay tuned. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Chichubox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions. Waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.